Hi guys, greetings of the day myself uh, Vijay Tavardhan and welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video session we are going to have a discussion about the isometric projection and the example is like this a cube of uh, say 25 mm is uh, resting centrally on a rectangular slab 100 mm by 40 mm and 30 mm thai. draw the isometric projection of the combination so according to the given condition a cube is resting on a rectangular slab uh, the respective orthographic projection is going to be obtained like this now let me show you how to do the same in the isometric projections for which we have to construct the 100 by 40 millimeter rectangle should be converted to a 30 millimeter thick later so now let me show you how to do the same for which one has to go for a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 uh, so the length is 100 angle is 30 then length is 40 angle is 150 Again, the length is 100, angle is minus 150 and 40 minus 30 or we can get back to the first position. And then uh, we will draw one of the diagonal for this line, uh, so that uh, rectangle to get the center of this rectangle using the midpoint symbol. We know that the height of the solid is 30 millimeter. So we will draw a 30 millimeter vertical line, which is going to represent the axis. So it should be represented in the chain line with 0.13 mm thick. And after which I am going to select the rectangle, then make use of a move command, move this rectangle from the bottom and it should be placed at the top using the copy command so that one will get the uh, top and bottom rectangle like this. And then uh, using a line command one can connect all the visible edges like this. And after getting all the visible edges, the invisible edges can be retained or it can be deleted like this. Then we have to construct a cube which is also supposed to be centrally mounted here. Now the size of the cube is 25 millimeter. So now using a line command with a thickness of 0.5 and a continuous line. Let us start the construction of a cube. So 25, 30, 25, 150, 25 minus 150 and then 25 minus 30 or we can get back to the first position. Uh, then to construct a cube we know that the height of the cube is always uh, 25 millimeter because the 25 is the size of the cube. I am going to move this cube from one of the uh, edges like this and I am going to place it at the top edge also like this. Then using a line command uh, what I am going to do I am going to connect all the visible edges the invisible edges are there so I am going to delete it. Now uh, we know that from the midpoint of a line here that is going to be the center of this face we need to draw an axis sign for a size of 25 millimeter which is going to representation of our axis with 0.13 mm as a thickness and afterwards i have to move this cube in such a way that using a move command move the cube with respect to the end point of the axis what we have generated and make sure that the copy of move is off and it should be positioned centrally on the end point of the axis of the rectangular slab what we have constructed now you can see that we have completed the isometric drawing or view so using the trim command i am going to eliminate the invisible edges of the rectangular slab and then the isometric drawing or isometric view is completed using the scale command we can convert this into isometric projection using the scale factor of 0.8164 times now one can see that the isometric projection of the given combination is completed in all aspects now if you are having any sort of doubts to solve this problem please feel free to contact me and also you can like this video if you have uh, liked it and you can uh, share this video and also you can subscribe to my youtube channel you can press the bell icon to get more and more video updates on my youtube channel and once again thank you very much for watching my videos in the youtube guys thank you very much